YouTube, welcome back. Good morning, guys. So what you learn on Monday is that the elections are the linchpin to the rate change. Okay, so they are the, the election. That's what we've waited on this entire year to even get to the point of being eligible to change the rate. Okay, are these elections. I've got 100% proof on this. I just want you to understand this. I'm going to show you a couple articles here. And then I have another video for you guys coming on Friday morning that's very critical. And I strongly recommend you watch it. This is the law, state of law group. The success of the electoral process is a victory for democracy and the Constitution. Okay. Remember, it was the central bank's absolute minimum requirement to have and hold these elections or really to remove corruption. Okay, the the most effective, fastest way to remove corruption is through elections, and that's what you're witnessing. That's what they're telling you. But again, the elections are the linchpin to all of their remaining economic steps and movements, including the rate change. We have 100% confirmation of that as of today's or this morning's news. So let's look at these highlights. You guys are welcome to pause the video to read this entire article. But in the highlights, the stability of Iraq lies in moving towards implementing the articles of the Constitution and the law in order to continue. The wheel of progress and prosperity for the country is moving, stressing there are no solutions to end the presence of delay. Again, end the presence of delay. So to end the presence of delay, they have to resort to ballot boxes. It's right there, guys. The presence of delay. To remove corruption and the corrupt and those in power without resorting to the ballot boxes. So so delay, corruption, and corrupt are removed from the ballot boxes. The next article is very telling. The director of the Prime Minister's Media Office, the government fulfilled its obligations and held the Kirkuk elections, which had suspe which were was suspended clear since 2005. So both of these articles are from Monday morning, the morning of the elections. This was a tweet that he had posted. Here's the translation of it. The first paragraph summarizes it all. And again, you can pause the video to read the entire translation of the tweet. Today, this was from Monday. Today, the government has fulfilled one of its most prominent commitments, which was stated in the executive access of the ministerial platform which the House of Representatives voted on in the confidence session on October 27th of 22, as well as the executive procedures of the government program. The government program is the reforms. Okay, that's reforms. But today they said, again, so executive procedures of the government program of the reforms, the government has fulfilled one of its most prominent commitments, which was the elections. Right there is 100% confirmation that these elections were a reform step, which is exactly what the rate change has been waiting on throughout this entire year. Hope you understand that. Again, you can pause this video. That's all I have for you guys this morning. I strongly recommend you watch Friday's morning news because it's going to reveal a lot to you. You guys are the best. Take care and have an amazing day.